Welcome viewers. The G7, which represents the world's biggest advanced economics, agreed on Friday to achieve predominantly decarbonized electricity sectors by 2035, a goal that experts say is a major step in helping the world avert catastrophic climate change. G7 Climate, Energy and Environment Ministers made the new pledge in a 40-page communique at the conclusion of the meeting in Berlin, in which they also committed to an eventual phase out of coal power generation by gave no deadline for when they would do so. The decision on decarbonization does, however, leave countries open to continue using fossil fuels if their greenhouse gases are abated, which means they emit less when burned or captured. Current technology cannot capture 100% of the greenhouse gases emitted by the burning of fossil fuels. The G7 includes the United States, Canada, France, Germany, Italy, Japan and United Kingdom as well as European Union. Their decision on energy and climate are often pitched at the wider G20 group, which together produce 80% of the world's greenhouse gas emissions the G20 will meet in Bali in November. The decision was made against the backdrop of Russia war in Ukraine, which was given a renowned sense of urgency in Europe in particular, the expedite in transition to cleaner energy resources. The community urged countries against locking in fossil fuel subsidies designed to weather the impact of the conflict. In view of the Russian attack on Ukraine, financial support for companies are criticized affected severely rising prices of the fossil fuels now on the political agenda for several countries. It said, nevertheless, we aim for our relief measures to be temporary and targeted and we will claim our commitment to the elimination of the inefficient fossil fuels subsequent by 2025. The community also reflect the previous commitment to stop international fossil fuel subsides entirely by the end of the year. German Minister for Economics, Affairs and Climate Action Robert Herberg told press conference Friday that the amount of the carbon dioxide and the atmosphere means the world cannot contain global warming to 1.5 degrees Celsius above pre-industrial levels. This is the temperature rise threshold that scientists say is necessary to avoid withstanding climate change and pursuing crucial ecosystem to tripping points. Whether we can do or won't be able to reach 1.5 as a maximum of global warming, we shouldn't say now and that is why we cannot reach the target. We must give up the opposite is true, he said. The only question we have to face today is how can we act constantly on a political level in the coming years. Phil McDonald, Chief Operating Officer of the Climate and Energy Research Group, Ember, said the decision had changed the game for the global electricity transition. The scientist shows that describing electricity by 2025 is the quickest and the cheapest way to net zero. He said referring to the goal where the world emits at least greenhouse gas as possible and offsets any impossible to avoid. Developed nations are typically aiming to reach net zero by 2050. The G7 have made a step in the right direction today by putting debt largely decarbonized power sectors, said Marhira Patskula, senior policy advisor with the think tank E3G. It is a key signal towards the rest of the world that current crisis and the efforts to secure new fossil supplies will be time beyond it. The validated that over the last months, the decarbonization of the power sector has grown from climate into security observative. Now, delivery needs to flow. Up to the last report, Force Active USA.